guys, it's uh, it's the injury blog, and uh, we're continuing today our squat series of exercises. This particular exercise is why your running trainers are wrecking your squat technique. Hope you enjoy. <music> squatting and it tends to be uh, health club health club people as opposed to gym people spitting sawdust people um, and the reason is that your, your health club people will go into the gym do a mixture of things and wear running trainers to do the squatting the problem with this is that with running trainers, you get a big, a big cushioned heel. Obviously, for cushioning the heel if, when, as you're striking through running. But when you're doing static floor work, this will actually push you forward. It will actually change your your, your centre of balance and push you forward more onto onto the forefoot. And if you're doing a normal squat with the bar across your back and this pushing you forward, depending on where your feet are it's quite easy to create um, a good morning action as opposed to a squatting action. A good morning is where, you, is where you're working the back muscles in this duck, I don't know, weird kind of uh, bowing fashion. It's good exercise, um, but uh, for a lot of people it will actually uh, give, you, give you back pain uh, initially because of the technique won't be right. So, if you're going to squat in in these, if you're going to leave your running trainers on to squat, then what you want need to be doing more so is possibly doing a front squat with the bar across the front and having a narrower stance, and that way it will take some of the this bowing action. Uh, out of it, this good morning action, you'll have less back ache for it. Right, so I've stuck my trainers on and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, I'm going to try and demonstrate uh, what's happening uh, when you're not squatting properly to get this back ache. It's really difficult to demonstrate things badly when you, you're used to doing them properly. So I'll try, let's, let's, let's see what happens. This could all go very wrong. Um, so, typically, so these, these trainers are going to be pushing me more onto the fore, which I can feel already because they're, they're quite cushioned, it's pushing me more onto the forefoot. So as, as I squat down, I can already feel that the weight's going into my thighs as opposed to my glutes. And then as I'm coming back up, what you might see is there's this, this action going on. This, this, this is a good morning, this loads the lower back massively. So as I'm squatting, rather than my chest staying up nice and tall, so I'm starting to fold, I can feel I'm folding in the middle. So as I'm pushing up, I'm actually creating this extension action. So this extension through the lower back, I'm stopping there, because otherwise I'm going to end up with back ache, and uh, I'm not going to fix me. So um, what you need to do really is, is, is take your trainers off, if you're going to be doing that exercise, or uh, as with the previous video, use some of these discs. What you can do with these discs is prop your toes onto there and it will just shift your weight and it will stop you doing this good morning action. As I said, good mornings are a good exercise to do, uh, but they take a lot of practice to get right and you, it, it will, if you're doing it through this through squatting, you'll have back pain uh, and it's not very nice. So, give that a try. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Um, help us out a little bit. Give us a give us a share. Click that share button. If you're getting this, you know you're getting this content for free. If you enjoy it, there's a little thank you to us. Just click that share button. Help us promote the channel and keep producing this content for you. Cheers, guys. Take care.